Hi, y'all. Um, I was sitting in line today waiting to pick up my daughter from school, and I was praying, and Jesus put it on my heart to make a video. So, here we go. Um, John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever shall believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Um, God wanted me to tell you that he is coming back soon. Jesus is coming back soon. And that you need to be ready. And, um, John fourteen six says, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. For where I am, there you may be also. Jesus also said in uh, verse 6, says, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through me. Um, the gospel is 1st Corinthians and it's uh, chapter 15 and it's verse 3 and 4 says but I delivered unto you first of all that which I received how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures and that he was buried and he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. So, Jesus came and he was a baby. He was in the flesh. He was God in the spirit and God in the flesh. And he grew up. He did his ministry. Three and a half years into it, he was arrested and they wanted him crucified, so he was on the cross. He bled and died for us, shed his blood for us, and died for us, and he was buried in a tomb, and then three days later, he rose again. When he was on the cross, he said, it is finished, which means the sin debt had been paid. If you believe with all your heart and, and everything that this has taken place and that Jesus is alive and he died for us and he rose again, then you are saved. Confess with your mouth and confess in your heart that Jesus is Lord and he will save you and confess your sins to him too. Um, Ephesians 2, 8, and 9 says, For by grace you are saved through faith, and that not of ourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Which means, this is a not, this is not a works-based faith. You could be the nicest person ever in saving thousands of kids a day because you're a doctor or something, and... If you don't believe in Jesus, you will not go to heaven. It is not by works. It is by faith. It is by faith through grace. Um, First Thessalonians is a rapture verse. What is rapture? Rapture is when Jesus will come back, but he won't be walking on earth. Not yet. He'll come back. He'll descend in the clouds. And he will call us up with a trump. Sorry, my cat's snoring. <laughs> um, he will call us up with the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise. And then those who are remain and alive will be caught up. Which means rapture. Um, together and meet him in the clouds and we will be forever with the Lord. 
Guys, this is all scripture. This is all written in the Bible. This is not made up. This is not some fairy tale. Jesus is coming back, and it is very, very soon. I can feel it in my heart, and lots of people have had dreams about it. If you search YouTube, it is all over YouTube that people have had dreams about Jesus coming back or about something that has happened in it signifies heaven, or it signifies what's happening next. The war in Israel, AI, um, the COP28 thing that's going on, um, all things are lining up. It is the end of days, and Jesus is coming back very soon. Jesus loves you, I love you, but he loves you more. And we will see you in the clouds, hopefully. See you later. Bye.